And hey guys, what's up? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the channel where we talk about anything related to comic books. If you clicked this video, you are probably another X-Men fan like me who used to watch the 90s animated series. But just in case you didn't know them and clicked the video out of curiosity, the series follows the adventures of a team of superhumans born with genetic mutations. The X-Men, led by Professor Charles Xavier, a man constantly fighting for human and mutant equality. As most of you may know, this popular show is getting a revival titled X-Men 97, releasing in March 20. It will feature all the characters from the original series and will continue its story. But since it's been a long time since I last watched the original series, I figured it was time for a rewatch. First of all, can I just say how nostalgic that felt? Like, I'll have to be honest, I wasn't even born when it first aired, but as a kid, I did use to watch this show thanks to the reruns, along with others like Spider-Man, Avengers and all this stuff. And I believe it's been about 10 years, give or take, since I last watched this. Like, apart from a few clips I see now and then, this was the first time I have actually rewatched the series after all this time, and might I say, it hits a lot different now. Because as a kid, you mostly care about the action and the fights, and basically anything involving punching bad guys. But as you grow up, you start seeing all the deeper messages that the show tries to convey. And you also appreciate all the work they put into the series in the stories, the dialogues, the designs, everything. But growing up, you're also able to spot some things that could have been done in a better way. Firstly, let's just start with all the things I love in this series, one of them being the team lineup. You got Professor X, Cyclops, Wolverine, Storm, Gambit, Rogue, Jean Grey, Beast and Jubilee. This team is definitely inspired by the X-Men comics published during the 90s, especially that Jim Lee era. So the reason I love this team is that it's really balanced, like you got the responsible ones, the savage ones, the intellectuals, the sympathetic ones, and the innocent ones. Not to mention that the dialogues are so well written that they feel genuine and realistic, like they came straight out of comic pages. Something else that was really cool was how each character had his own chance to sign with many episodes revolving around a certain X-Man so that we could see their backstories, learn more about them and their personality, and see them fight on their own without the help of the rest of the team. And since I mentioned personalities, I think that all the characters were perfectly adapted in the series. They acted exactly like their comic book counterparts, even featuring Storm's claustrophobia, which is something only a true fan would know, meaning the creators actually did their homework. This series is probably the best X-Men adaptation we've ever seen. Now, as far as the designs are concerned, they killed it. It's absolute perfection, and I love how alternate costumes are used throughout the show, like the original X-Men uniforms or these spacesuits from the Sanctuary episode. And I almost forgot how awesome it was to see some of the best X-Men stories in that show, like the Phoenix Saga, Days of Future Past, which is my personal favorite, like, they're all there. And something great about how the stories are adapted is that they try to keep the main plot the same while changing other aspects of the story so that even those who've read the comics won't know exactly what will happen. And last but definitely not least are all the social messages in the show. It's supposed to be a kid's show but it delves into so many social issues like racism, xenophobia, religion, domestic violence and many more. And all these messages are timeless, because even though racism, for example, isn't that usual a phenomenon anymore, there will always be discriminations. And Charles Xavier's lectures about human and mutant equality are of course allegories for the fights of equality between different races, sexes or anything. So it's important that kids learn from this show so that they become better people. Now about the not so good stuff, and I'm saying not so good because I don't think they're actually bad, they could have just been improved. For example, the biggest problem I found was the overuse of Wolverine, even though characters like Gambit, Jubilee or Jean Grey may sometimes be absent in certain episodes, Wolverine is always there, with only very few exceptions. And I get that he's the most popular X-Man, but still, after some time I got bored of his face and started missing Gambit and the rest. Maybe it wasn't just the overuse of certain characters, but also how rarely we saw others. 
Another thing that got a bit boring after some time was the lineup. As I said, I love this lineup, but the inclusion of more mutants in the team wouldn't hurt. Nightcrawler, Colossus, or Kitty Pride, for example, were some of the mutants I hoped would join the X-Men. At least the first two appeared in the show compared to Kitty Pride, who we never saw at all. So yeah, in general, sometimes the show would get really dull because of the lack of variety. Another thing that could have been improved is probably Magneto's character development. He is supposed to be a classic X-Men villain, but he only acted as such in one or two episodes. After that, he was basically a hero, and they don't mind that at all, but they could at least delay that a bit more so that his character gradually develops instead of just suddenly being a nice guy. Lastly, the animation. I'll have to be honest, no matter how brilliant I find this series, the animation just lacked. It does improve over the seasons though, so it's not that big a deal, yet in the last 6 episodes, they decided for some reason to completely change the animation and the designs, and the result was horrible. I don't think they intended for this to happen, because there were some problems with the funding and all this stuff, but still it happened and it was terrible. And I take back that lastly I said earlier, because now that I mentioned the last episodes, I expected the series finale to be longer and more meaningful, because the way it ended was really sudden. It's not completely their fault though, since it wasn't supposed to end then, but I guess that's why they're bringing it back now. Look, considering how little problems this show had compared to things done right, X-Men the Animated Series was and still is a great superhero show with better writing than most of the things we see nowadays that can still keep kids and adults alike entertained. It is literally timeless as all the messages, stories and basically everything in it could actually happen in today's world. If you've only watched it once as a child, I strongly recommend re-watching it, especially now, if you want to be prepared for the revival. It's a solid 8 out of 10. Well guys, this was today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, you can support me by subscribing, clicking the like button, and allowing all notifications. And if you want the complete Spider-Thumb experience, you might as well follow me on Instagram. Please tell me what you think about the show in the comments, and if you'll be watching X-Men 97. So, until the next time, goodbye true believers!